What's up guys, it's Bossman in here and welcome back to another video of Pixagon 3D. Now for this video, we're actually looking at the new 15.99 update, which fun fact, I expected it to come out as I'm uploaded this video today and it just came out today. So what we're looking at is a small 15.99 update, why it's 99, well again I'll tell you this, it's because it's a little little extra update so what we got here there's not that much into the update not much into the update but what we got here is the traders van with only gems weapons for those who are spoiled and rich enough can now go and buy some valentine's weapons because the world no the update is all about the valentine's day update well it's quite logical that they release this kind of particular update right before the Valentine's Day itself. But, we also, quick news, I'll tell you this again, we're past 2.5k, now I'm at 2 point, like 2725 credits, which means during the next battle pass, I'll be able to buy it instantaneously without bothering about anything else. This means I'll get things faster. So during the weekends, I'll probably grind Team Strike to get some more medals. And also, we're at a bar progress bar of 856. We're soon going to get ourselves the super chest, which can grant us the rewards that we need, like thousand gems or the Ava because it's a unique weapon, but it's just a reskin and with reworked bullet mechanics of the impulse sniper rifle so what i've looked when i looked into the change log they added a trades van and then all they also reworked the battle royale well they did not really rework it they just added some extra decorations some extra places into the battle royale map and that's what we're actually going to look at what they changed i'll probably notice this because i've been playing this for a, a little while ago since the update came out and i already noticed some changes especially on the beach during the ship on the ship graveyard there's something and now we also got a fake echo soldier right there so uh so uh, not really a big shout out to him but i know who is not echo soldier and who is echo soldier because my guy, Scott, is right here in my friends list somewhere. There he is. Look at that. He's in champion list. So seeing such a name, it probably does mean that he's not, he's not the real Echo Soldier. And we also got CJKs. Well, it's not surprising that they all got the, got the top spots. But I'm recording this right now, so they might have just progressed a bit more. But I let him take it until the time where I actually get a chance of the super chest, probably in the weekends because that's where I grind, and probably in the team strike because now we got ourselves a brawl, the same brawl, realistic mode. Go ahead and walk around with armadillo and try to exterminate everybody else while using night hunter or storm or whatever kind of weapon that you like to take out people. It is there for. Yeah, five hours, so it's probably going to end like in midnight this time as I'm speaking to to this video. But what we're going to do here is we're going to showcase the new battle royale. So I just see you guys in the battle battlefield and I talk to you guys with some more. Okay, so we're off and we're just going to land to where we first see the changes. You can see the... The dry plates have changed, they got like mushrooms decorated on top of it. And we got some uh, exca excavators and uh, bombs and stuff. But we're just gonna land on the seaport just because I no already noticed some two fresh gold chests that I already know is going to be mine real soon. As I'm just gonna hold on, just gonna time this. Boom sauce! Hope that no one's getting it. Yeah, no one is getting that. I'm just getting the cash, boys. See what I mean with those tricky landings? It's always good to use those tricky landings. Did you get the weapon? Who got the weapon? I'll kill you. I'll kill whoever got the weapon. I don't mind. Whoever that is. Oh, it was you. But you did not use it. Weird enough. But okay, I'll take the kill. 
Okay, you know what? I think that was a bit loud. I just tried to turn out, but I can still bear it out. What are you even thinking about? Hold on, just gonna turn on the sound. Yeah, that's more bearable. Case, thank you for your weapon. I really appreciate it. And where's my teammate right now? I've, oh yeah, he disconnected. Dang it, man. So we only got one teammate, which you can see right now. Trespassing cadet. Trespassing cadet. 9150. So. Okay, we're just gonna wander around the area. Now, before that, I'm just gonna take this girl out. Yep. She's down. And I just thought I saw some wandering people around there. Never mind. Hmm. Was that despawn or was that a guy? That was a guy who was picking you up. So he's going down. Oh, you're going down, bruh. You're going to have a big problem. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that was the best I've seen so far. He was just blowing himself right there. Don't you think you're a tough girl? I'm the mean boy around here. I'm the guy who's going to try to win this by my own. Although, although I'm in the squad. Yeah, the cadet is soon going to get down. But I don't really mind that much. Got like bullet effects. Bit more nice. Go away, dude. I already knew that was you left because uh, usually when they squad, they already team up and go at you. So they changed a bit here. We got like this island right here, and this is what this this place was just what I'm talking about. Like wasted fuel, gas can factory or something, of some sort. Yeah, it's, it looks like it's been like a deserted gas station that was already being wrecked and now it's like in the way of getting buried down on the st down beneath the sand. I also got this weird mountain for probably a sniper position. I think they intended it to be. Not really that sure, but what I know is that I gotta run to the safe zone, so that was a small change right there. We probably get to see more changes as we're wandering around right here. We can't just have a look at all changes, but what I know is that I'm going to definitely play this again in case we get to see some extra changes. Okay, I don't really care about that dude because I'm too far away. This guy thinks he's brave. Really. What about now? Okay, so another change that they did, which probably all of you noticed, is the damage setup for this. Hold on. You're getting down, boy. You're getting down, boy. Oh, yeah, that's right. I just need to get out of here. And they're both dead. I should have... The best thing is, if you want to get more kills, you gotta shoot the down person first in order to actually make two kills. Because if you shoot the last guy, that means that the whole squad is gonna die automatically. So, because I killed the last guy, rather than shooting down the downed person first, I did not get the extra kill. I only got kill assists because of that. Yeah, you are really clever. Props to that. <laughs> Oh, you done, boy. Hold on. Let him die by that. Look at him burn. Oh, wait, really? I think he should die by that. Weird that he didn't die. Because he was crying right beside the burning vehicle. Just gonna reload this bad boy. So yeah, they amplified the damage. They increased the damage quite a lot. To make it... To actually make it quite hard. But I don't feel like this a disadvantage into this because I get the weapons I knock them down like usual and they're down so just gonna wander around we're currently using the motorcycle once I get the quicksilver I will be using it that all depends if I get it because if I get it then I'm happy and also 
news on the fort. Okay, nice. Thank you for your cooperation. <laughs> but just let yourself get rammed on so that you will temporarily not be able to shoot so that I manage to shoot you down. Get some ammo real quick because why not? 11 kills, not bad. And also I see a supply crate. I'm really lucky today. Oh, there's a guy. You're not getting anywhere with that. Oh, thank you for the armor, by the way. <laughs> Dude, I'm just way too lucky. And also Goldie. Not gonna take that because I have the Wyvern. Wyvern is now stronger than the... It's not stronger than the semi-auto. What was just dropped right there. So, four more. Not gonna worry too much. I'm going by my own. If those are in a full squad, I don't mind. Because I faced a full squad before. And I managed to beat them down. So. Oh yeah, that's one. Oh, he was so close to getting hit. Hello! Doesn't really matter. Although I'd like to take this with me. And this with me very nice and you with me and look at that oh when a cobra I may do some challenges after a bit after quite a while but it all depends if I want to or not but that's the 15.9 update it doesn't come out with that much but what we expect here in 16.0 update, like the next version that is going to come out w where I actually expect some days before the end of the battle pass, we're going to see some huge changes. I probably expect new weapons, probably we all think it's going to be the new world campaign 4, we're all waiting for that, all waiting and grieving for that, so if we get it, we're all probably going to be happy. But this time, I think it was supposed to be a bit more dynamic. To where you play one game, if you play that chapter again, it's going to be different. So that's their concept of how things are going to work. And you're done. Nice try, but I already knew where you were. Like, indicators makes it easier for me to track people down. Without indicators, well, we just didn't know. And look at that. Echo Soy there. Nice spelling, by the way. Although you're a bit more honest than the others. So, that was one game to explain it to you all. Probably do it again. Explain some other things. Okay, we're in a different place. So, we're just trying to get landing on this spot. And see if I can... S I think mushrooms were there before. But I can see some new places. There's like grain farm. And let's see. Have a look. I think the palms were there before. I'm trying to land here. We don't really see much new to Sandblock Cisco. Two gold chests, and they somehow land. Wow, they somehow land, land further than how I land. Okay, he's using the method. He's going to suffer quite a lot of damage. Woo! -hoo. But compared to my trick, I do it fine. Okay, so one of those is going to get it, and I'll shoot that armed man. Who was armed? You were armed. You're going down. Told you. I always like to shoot the armed man because he is. He has something to defend himself with. Oh, now it's like... Now if you tap... Oh, shoot. Yep, that did not go well. Just did not expect that. Well, well. So I'm just going to talk a bit more about this. I'm just going to crawl my way down here. Okay. You know what? I get out of here. It's boring. 
So what I'm talking about here is uh, what we all expect from the next update which usually comes out in the near end of the battle pass. So expect it to come like 5, 4 or 10 days or less before it ends because it usually does that. And what's gonna happen is probably the campaign number 4 if you go to minigates and campaign. We're all waiting and craving. Oh shoot. Get to this, yeah. So, whatever is in there is probably all about cybernetics. Because in the end of the cross worlds, we get to know that we as a player get into the VR, VR world, and now probably that world will be where we take place it, where everything takes place in. Because uh, we just got into this headset and now try to fight off the bug. So it's going to be interesting how this will work. It also, it's always interesting for me to actually see how, or actually have a look at the new weapons that they added in. But what I actually like is having weapons with their own feature, which very unique features because these weapons I know there's in different styles and stuff but they all like the same very bit more simplistic but with different designs minigun uh, minigun feature is probably the most unique feature in the game because it adds a minigun logic where you fire and then stop charges down and stops and if I like Try to shoot, it charges up, shoot, and charges down, stops. So that's basically how it works. So whatever that whatever that comes by in the 16.0 update, if it's humongous, well, it's going to be very interesting if it's humongous, and uh, if it is, well, that's good. So for the clans, so we actually got itself pretty far. We actually got ourselves the spider mines and the mini bugs to our fort. And if you have a look at the storage, the next two things we're going to get is the hover ram and the object X. So, good upgrades that we're going to get. I really appreciate those upgrades. And probably we'll think about changing the terrain, the weather, the turrets, like everything. So that we can be ready for a battle that might come by. But guys... That's going to be it for this video and I hope you did enjoy this quick update review with some gameplay and if you did be sure to leave a like on this video to share some support and if you're new to the channel and like my videos be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you will become a part of Boston on a Pixagon 3D community and also turn on the notifications bell after you do that so you won't miss out any content that I upload. But other than that guys, I see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. <laughs>